guys, yeah, so you've seen some of the footage from me at Ashford and I did manage to pick up some stills. Um, I've got two Kobe boxes, uh, I'll show you these later, but we're going to get into these particular shoes here. Um, I managed to pick up the Nike Flyknit Trainer Citroen at the Ashford outlet, uh, which is totally amazing because I remember when I kind of tried to cop these on the sneakers app, yeah. These babies were sold out. So these are sold out, baby. These sold out in the sneakers app. I couldn't pick them up anywhere. I tried, I tried, I tried. And I was kind of disappointed. However, I'm no longer disappointed. Do you know why? Because I picked up these babies, these sneakers for less than an absolute bargain. Let me show you the price I got these for. Because I think, yeah, you know I mean, it's worthwhile if you're passing by the Ashford Nike outlet to get yourself down there. And as you can see, I picked these up for 89 um, which is a bargain down from the original retail of 130 focus baby can you focus see if we can get that to focus man that's um yeah so there we go so yeah man these were mad 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 super comfortable as well i had on a pair of my um adidas advanced i think you've seen those from other videos um uh, where i've worn those and they're comfy they're probably the most comfiest shoes, sneakers, crepes, you name it, I own. Are those blue dyed, which I dyed as part of one of my earlier videos with the Dylon. They're super, super comfy. I mean, they are super, super comfy. I don't think I own anything as comfy as those, except for these. These are mad comparable, mad comfy. I put these on, these feel like slippers. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you don't already own them, second set of laces, definitely get down, definitely try and grab a pair. These are heat, these are fire and comfy as well. I love the colorway, love the design. Been waiting to cop a pair of these for ages. I wanted these, the Mariahs, um, for a while. Anything like that, I'll try and cop, but I wasn't gonna pay what they were asking for retail, no way. I didn't think they were worth the retail, but I knew if they hit the outlets and I managed to cop them in the outlet for a good price, I was going to bag them. And I did, man. So definitely, if you have not got the Citroens, the Flynets, definitely, definitely get yourself a pair. Super comfy. De these are definitely worth having in the collection. On feet, super comfy. So let's go and have a look what we got in the two Kobe boxes. These Kobe's for less than retail, again. Um... These were in the outlet. These were actually in the Portsmouth one. I actually love this on the back. That's a great design. This is the Komodo Dragon. I love that design on the back. That's dope. And as you can see, it's a nice trainer. However, there is a problem with this shoe. I'm gonna say, maybe it's all the premiums. Maybe it's all these Mamba Rage premiums. Why they're kind of messed up is, I think this sole, man. I know it's the Lunar Air Cushioning or Lunar long sole or whatever but to be honest this kind of takes a shoe which should fit true to size and makes it undersized it make yeah you would have to literally go at half a size um in a shoe just because of this insole to be honest is this insole super comfy i don't think so i put these on i didn't think these were super comfy definitely this shoe with that sole, yeah, which is like super, super mega thick, is not as comfy as this shoe. And this shoe has no way in the same sort of insole. Let's go and have it. So you pull out the insole. Look. That's the insole in this shoe. This is the insole in this shoe. And this one, this shoe is 100 times more comfy. 100 times, 100 times more comfy. This is the comfiest shoe. And this has some sole technology that's just mega thick and it's hard and it's not nice. It is not a nice sole. I'm gonna say that this is hard wearing, not super comfy. To be honest, it's a trash, it's trash. So this particular shoe is not super, well, it's, it's, it's still a dope shoe. It's still a nice Kobe. It's not a sellout, you know, these are Kobe's, these are amazing, but it's still a nice shoe. Uh, it's, it's an everyday shoe for under retail. For that price, hell yeah, why not? 
you know what I mean? These cost me £66. And I still think I got 30% off that price. Which is an absolute mad bargain. Is that not a mad bargain? I think they originally retailed at about 94 And I got it for 66 and probably another 20 to 30% off. So it was mad. But anyway, that was a good price. I've done a real review on these. I've not had time. Um, I've done a lot of shoe reviews. And somehow I've missed these out. So... I'm gonna have a look at these now, since I've got the other Kobe's. I did pay retail for these. These are the ADs. As you can see, in my size, 11.5. I love these, and I when I saw these, right? When I saw these drop, I was like, do you know what? I should definitely cop these. I should definitely get these in the collection. I don't have any Kobe uh, ADs at all, or any Kobe's. These were my first Kobe's that I bought, and these are the honesties. So let's have a look. I'm sure you've seen reviews on these. These are amazing. I love these shoes. I absolutely love them. I love the feel of the materials. It's really, really nice. Um, it's like a new buck suede material. Um, I've not even worn these yet. These are just sat in a box, bro. But yeah, I love the plate underneath. Um, really, really nice. Nice, nice, nice. The grip here looks lovely too. It's just a really really nice detailed shoe when yeah i mean i don't know what this is but this materials again is like a nice kind of suede or i felt or i'm not too sure man but it's really nice the heel cushioning again really nice these rubberized parts even they feel like quality man i think when these dropped originally kobe honesties this was like a the latest kobe's to drop and i did actually buy these straight off the bat straight for retail on the day they dropped and again do you know what I mean I I, I love it because when I originally bought these yeah you know I mean I'm glad I caught them then because I've never seen any of these in or at least the honesties or these pair in anywhere near because these babies again on the sneakers up sold out baby sold out so if you didn't cop these um, and you do see these in i don't know man if you see these anywhere close to um uh retail outlet or any sort of outlets then you know what holler at your boy i may even try and double up on these if these ever if anyone's ever seen these in an outlet or managed to see an outlet with these and you know what just ping me a message man and so i want to double up on these i think these are beautiful i won't pay retail though no way i'll pay retail for this pair so I may hold off on the retail for a second bit. I don't believe I'm gonna pay retail for a second pair at any time, but yeah, man, these are dope. These are absolutely dope. But anyway, guys, I thought it was about time that I kind of did an unboxing, especially of these, because they were way overdue. I've got so many shoes that I actually own and I've just not got round to doing it with. So do you know what? Well, as soon as I get more time, I should have some more time to do some reviews and kind of unbox some of my shoes because I've got a lot of shoes to unbox a lot of shoes I've bought a lot of shoes that are still up there that I haven't worn in boxes still in their night delivery boxes I need to get out and probably just do a review on um, and I've got to also do a review on my sneaker box I know that sounds weird but yeah my Jordan sneaker box I think it's quite dope um, and what I'll do is I'll do a review of that soon. I may do that next. I may do that next and then start putting my Jordans in it really. Uh, and I'll speak to you soon guys. Thanks for watching. Jokey B.